You're such an asshole. Contributing to GDP this afternoon in great leaps and bounds, it is Asshole Consulting. Where if you have questions and your therapists and guidance counselors and teachers and mumsies and popsies aren't going to help you because they don't want to hurt your feelings. Hire the older brother you never had by going to assholeconsulting.com where I, the world's only professional asshole, will give you the swift kick in the ass you so rightly deserve and you will pay for it. <clears throat> assholeconsulting.com. Hi Aaron, my name is Thomas. And I'm a 22-year-old going on 23 who has wasted four years of his life on trivially and pointless activities and have only recently, six months ago, started to turn it around. After graduating in 2013 from high school, that, at least he said from, he said, after graduating high school. No, no, no. Graduating from high school. You need that prepositional phrase? Did I actually use an English term right? Holy shit. Uh, where I graduated with a 3.8 GPA, I proceeded to waste my time on video games and sit around like a slob. From 2013 to 2015, I put on 75 pounds, going from 205 to 285. And I did nothing but play video games, jerk off, and watch YouTube videos for three years straight. Uh, that is literally what I did. There were times where I didn't even go outside for months on end. Went from a lean, muscular athlete who played first base for the var high school varsity baseball team to a fat, antisocial friendless loser in the span of a couple years. Look, dude, and I'm not even joking. This is not a joke. That's still better than going to school, majoring in the liberal arts, getting a ton of student loans, becoming an insufferable social justice warrior, communist parasitic piece of shit fuck. <laughs> you, I know you think you're a loser, and you are. You are. But you are better off than at least two-thirds. This is how sad it's become in today's college educated. Ooh, we're so smart. We have liberal arts degrees. You are better off than the two-thirds of the dipshits that just pissed away. You at least got to jerk off. You know, you got to look at porn. You didn't have to learn about microaggressions or privilege or racism or have like some simple concept that only takes a couple sentences to understand stretched out into a 300 page liberal arts book that takes six months for the dipshit retard of a liberal arts professor to, you are, you are actually ahead of your peer group being this much of a loser. I know that's sad, but you don't got college debt you're living at home, you just happen to be fat, and you had yourself like a, what, a four-year vacation? <laughs> it, it, so don't feel too bad about yourself. Sometimes it pays not to try. <clears throat> not like there's a ton of jobs out there waiting for you anyway. Uh, that's literally what I did. There were times when I didn't even go inside. Da, 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 da. Yeah. After graduating high school, I oh, see you forgot to put the from in there. After graduating high school, I was forced by my mother to attend community college. I had no choice. It was either enroll or be kicked out of the house. So I was enrolled to three to four classes, online courses every single semester until the end of 2015. I failed every single one of those classes merely by not doing the work, any of it. Pure laziness. My GPA is so low, it may be a record. To this day, my mom doesn't know that I failed all my classes. How does she not know I lied to her? So she kept enrolling me. And I honestly don't know how to tell her that she wasted thousands of dollars for two and a half years straight on me. Okay, so so you didn't even, I mean, I know this sounds Machiavellian and you should feel guilty for stealing your mom's money, um, but you're not in debt. You're still, you're still better off than two thirds of Americans college going students, college graduates. And I honestly don't know how to tell her that she wasted thousands of dollars for two and a half years on me straight. As insane as this sounds, I intend to go back and retake every single course I failed. I feel obligated to right that wrong and I know that I'm better than that. Um, <clears throat> you will be better than that when you right that wrong. Right now you are not better than that. Right now you are saying you're going to be better than that. When you are better than that, then you will be better than that. That's like me saying I'm going to bench press 200 pounds, which I'm, I have not bench pressed 200 pounds. I got 185 up, but I didn't get 200. <clears throat> so it's when, when I bench press 200, I will bench press 200. And when, when you don't become like that, you will not become like that. Now, since then, I have made tremendous strides forward, at least for me. I've lost 50 pounds. There you go. There you go. Since mid-2016 and recently six months ago, had the balls to not be a pussy and start working my first job ever at the age of 22. Pathetic, I know. I'm making $8 an hour and working 30 hours a week. So you are in better shape than two-thirds of millennial college graduates because you have a job and you have no debt. 
I want to put things into perspective for you so you don't feel that bad. You should feel pretty bad, but not that bad. Um, I've been reading numerous books, including your own, Worthless and Batch of Pad Economics. I've been trying to invest in myself and better myself each day. Why the sudden change? Well, it's because of one man, and that man is Connor McGregor. Oh, yeah, I had to look this. Is this the... Are you talking about the dude? The, the wrestling dude. Connor McGregor. Is this the guy? Yeah, that guy. Okay. <clears throat> I will never understand. Matt Baldoni can explain this better to me, but the these guys are inspirations to young men. They are. And a lot of people get excited about the fights and everything. I'm not, not excited about it, but it has a larger effect than what I can understand it does. It inspires a lot of young men. But that's, that's fine. That's as long as you get inspiration. Not hope. There's a difference. Hope is, I hope government gets me shit. Yay, Obama. Oh, he's not president anymore? Oh, shit. Inspiration inspires you into action. It prompts you into action. I happened upon him in late 2015, and the man just inspired me to a whole new level I've never been inspired previously. I went from being an absolute pussy to where I am now, but I just don't know what to do. I do have my interest, though, as all do, and that is business and entrepreneurship. In high school, I took every business class that was available, and I excelled in every one of them. No, 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 no. You do not excel in business classes. That's like saying, I excel in breathing. I excel in common sense. I excel in looking both ways before I cross the street. I excel at balancing a checkbook. Business is not a real discipline or skill. It is common sense. The only discipline or skill in business that is like a real one that you have to learn is called accounting. The rest is common sense, right? That's like, I'm good at English. I did a video. Oh, I'm good at English. Oh, good for you. Um, I was a member of DECA. I'm not sure if you're familiar. Yeah, some stupid fucking thing that people joined in high school. And I excelled in that also. You No, no, no. You do not excel in breathing. You do not excel in common sense. You just do. Look how good I am at blinking. I'm a really good blinker. Oh my god, I'm really good at English. I, I, I study business. I'm good at blinking. Look, I got my MBA. I can blink. Uh, 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 uh. Look at that, huh? Huh? Fucking advanced MBA school at the Carlson School of Management there, man. I swear to God, I hope that after I die, the University of Minnesota doesn't claim me like, oh, look, Aaron Clary, world famous billionaire, asshole consulting empire, went to the Carl. I will fucking sue you, Carlson School of Management. You fucking use my name. I will make sure none of you have jobs with my billions of dollars that I have yet to make. Uh, especially in entrepreneurship and finance. I was, uh, uh, ever since landing my first job, I realized this life isn't going to be as easy as I thought. Well, really? Having everything paid for and jerking off the porn? You thought life it was going to be that easy? Yes, life would be touched more difficult than that. I literally thought I'd figure it out and eventually start a business. Business! And I'd be able to f be financially free. But as I think, we all realize someday that it's easier said than done. Honestly, the last three or four years of my life have been more pathetic than you could even possibly imagine. I'm, I can't. I haven't lived it, but I can see it being pretty pathetic. All I want for you is to be as blunt and truthful with me as you possibly can. I know my situation is bad. I know I fucked up. I know I'm probably one of the most pathetic human beings you have ever had the displeasure of reading about. No, actually, you're not. You're not. Because, you, dude... I'll, I'll finish that, and then I'll explain why. All I want is the truth about my situation, my chances. I appreciate you taking the time to read this, and I appreciate what you do. Cheer. Hey, you paid me. I'm, I'll deliver. All right, look, dude. You're here's everybody sins. Everybody sins. Everybody fucks up consciously or not. Everybody does stupid shit. <clears throat> the question is whether you realize it. And here's another regard that you're in better shape than the average liberal arts majoring graduate of the millennial dipshit generation. You at least know you fucked up. And that that right there puts you in the top, uh, uh, puts you ahead of like 95. I'm not, I'm not joking. I am not saying this to make you feel better. I am telling you this because it's the truth so you understand wh wh what achievement you have done. Uh, the fact you admitted you're wrong and that if you keep going down this path, you will waste your life means that you are more intelligent or at least more mature and more wise, let's say wise, and more honest than 90% of the liberal arts and humanity, 90% of the two-thirds of the millennial generation that went to college. 
You are better off than 90% of those college graduates. Not the STEM, not the IT, not the pre-meds, not the accountants, okay? Not the, not the tradesmen, but these morons that went to school, that, that, that are making the news every day with their spectacular stupidity, you are further ahead than them because they will never admit they're wrong. And even though you think you have wasted four years of your life, you're only 23, you still have most of your life ahead of you. you of course, you think it's all over. Oh my God, I'm 23, I'm almost 25, I'm almost quarter century. <clears throat> you're going to live another 50 years. And you have learned early on at least that you needed to make changes, and here's the other thing that means you have more hope than the other people, you lost 50 pounds. That's like quitting drinking. That's like getting straight A's. That's an accomplishment. Very few people do that. It also shows you're serious about this. You got a job. You know you fucked up. You have guilt and shame. You're working 30 hours a week. So you already, you have the number one, th well, you have two things. One, you have reality, you've accepted reality, you accepted that what you were trying to do was not going to be feasible. You admitted you were wrong. Two, you have the desire and, and work ethic to improve upon it. So you're already, 50, look, and you know you have the raw material, the intelligence to do it. You had a 3.8 GPA. Um, you had all this other shit going on. You know what it's like to work. You know what it's like to try. And now you've, you've, you've made, you've turned that corner. The hard part is over. The only issue that you have to face is, okay, you know you're gonna, you want to lose weight, so there's that. You know you want to like go back to college for something. Well, there is that. Uh, you may not know what, but you, you know you don't want to be living at home. The real question is, okay, what is the vehicle by which you're going to get there? <clears throat> Meaning, what is your per career or profession? <clears throat> for you, you got to figure out first what you want to do. Right? You're not majoring in business. Business is not a real degree. Okay, You could become an accountant maybe. But even then, you're almost compelled to go and get your CPA. What you got to do is you got to go and I, did you read Worthless? Uh, you watch my videos. Did you read my books? 23, graduated. Da, da, da. Tremendous. Oh, yeah, here it is. You read Worthless and Bachelor Pad Economics. All right, so you know what to go study and more importantly, what not to study. You got to find something in that field that, that you go and either get a trade in, you do computer programming, you do boot camp, or you actually go to a four-year institution, get a degree, something you got to choose from that. May, you may not be even able to tell what that is. Now, your mom forcing you to go to school for no fucking reason, not knowing what you're going to study, that's dumb. That's just stupid right there. I know her intention was to get you out of the house and have you not be a loser, but it, it's like, hey, go climb up that mountain. Why? Uh, reasons? It's like, well, what's up at the mountain? Is it gold? No, just, just climb up the mountain. Don't worry about the cliffs or the you know the, the mountain lines. Just climb up it because uh, I want you out of the house. That that's you need to put forth your effort towards something that's going to pay off in the end. But what that is, I can't tell you. Right? You got to take inventory of yourself, uh, and it may it's nothing wrong with taking another six months as you work on. That may not be a bad idea. You keep working out. You keep working. You pay back your mother. All right, or at least give her a little bit of money. Uh, you get some pride back in yourself. And, and, and then take this time to figure out what you should study next because there's, look, you're doing good now. There's no reason to rush this and make a hasty decision and, be, and go major, commit to something that you're not too sure of. But <clears throat> that doesn't mean you're going to be some stupid fat. What you should do to continue losing your weight, you want to kill two birds with one stone, start downloading podcasts or start downloading YouTube videos and converting them into MP3 formats, put them on your headphones, and then go for a run or a walk. It'll help you lose your weight, it'll help you get back into shape, and then you can also start doing your research as to what type of fields and ed industries you want to get into. What kind of education do you want to go get? All right? And I'm all, if you read Reconnaissance Man, you might want to read Reconnaissance Man, you don't have the money for doing Reconnaissance. You have money for the book, but you don't have money to do Reconnaissance. But you have to do some self-introspection, you have to do some inventory of yourself and what you want to become and that takes a while all right most kids don't even do that uh, kind of like economics class i'm gonna major in economics i like child i like psychology i'm gonna major in child psychology uh, dude like yeah man i play football uh, my dad's in business i'm gonna go major in business you fucking high school kids don't know jack fucking shit what you're doing all right so don't be like those kids 
Take your time and figure out first up front what you want to do. And that requires a fair amount of investment, time and research and resources put into evaluating different career paths, different jobs, different careers. So that is your part time job. You go to work. Uh, I, I work a little bit more than 30 hours a week. Thank you. You go home. You download some podcasts, something that you can listen to in your headphones. And then you, if it's an hour and a half, you go walk an hour and a half. I don't know if you're up to running yet. I mean, you, you play baseball. You can certainly know what it takes to run. You go run. If you get up to running or jogging, then you go jog or run your miles. But you listen to that and say, oh, do I want to become a... What was a perfusionist? That was an interesting one. This one guy I had a client. He's like, oh, I'm going to become a perfusionist. I'm like, God damn fucking 50 cent words. Got to look this shit up. Like, oh, that's what that guy wants to become. <clears throat> X-ray tech, whatever it is, you go and you start even every day. Every day you go hike or run or walk. You learn a new thing about a new job or about a career. And you either check it off your list or, and then that might lead you to like, oh, maybe this is a good career. Well, I don't like that aspect, but here's another career they were talking about that way. And then you will come up with, aha, I know what I want to be. I want to be an HVAC repair guy. I want to be a mechanic. I want to be an accountant. And then once you know that, then you go to college. That's when you go to college. But until that point in time, there's no reason to go because you just wasting your time and giving your money to trip liberal leftist art prof you know, the, the life. You're just giving your money to the left. You're just giving your money to communists. So don't do that. And you're wasting your time too. So yeah, you're you're not you're not pathetic. If I had met you before you lost your 50 pounds, and I, I, yeah, you'd probably be one of the most pathetic people I met. But you're not. Because you've admitted you're wrong, you're making concrete efforts and changes, you've had concrete success, losing 50 pounds is no bullshit. That's the majority of your weight, you only have 25 pounds left to go. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not worried about it. Just keep plugging away, lose the weight, make the money, pay your mom back, or at least have a little bit of money, and find out a plan, and then execute. And you know what's going to happen four years from now, maybe five years from now, you'll have your degree, you'll be 27 You'll be an engineer, a computer programmer, or whatever the fuck it is. And all your friends who are kicking your ass now because they graduate. Oh, they're all graduating. Oh, did you hear your mom? Hey, little Jimmy next door graduated with his degree in English. He's going to go work in Siberia with the black orphans. If there were any out there. And, uh, and you'll be like, oh, man, I'm such a loser. Yeah, well, seven years, little Jimmy's still going to be living back at home with his mom because he majored in stupid shit. While you'll actually have a job, you'll be out of the house, and you'll be in shape. But you're never getting fat again. You're never fucking getting fat again. That bullshit is not going to happen. No fatness ever again. That does not happen. We do not do that here. We control what we put in our mouths. That, that doesn't happen at the asshole consulting. Anyway, hope that helped out. If you guys got problems with a swift kick in the ass, you know where to go. It will cost you money. But think about this. Well, you could pay 35 bucks to have me yell at you, and then you change your life forever. Or you could just read Oprah's books and tell you how it's not your fault and that people should accept you because you're fat and big is beautiful. Up to you, kids. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.